Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a very interesting video because I believe a lot of people can learn uh, from the mistake or quote unquote mistake that we made, our team made in 2021 and how you can learn from this going forward in 2022. Yes, we sold Loot Bring super duper early. I'm going to explain where we sold, why we sold and the reason why we bought actually, right? Because we were super early on this gem last year but we let it go now before i get started with this video what is loop ring right that's the first in fact before i do that guys make sure you like comment and subscribe and as always click the bell notification icon so you can stay up to date with all our recent videos remember guys nothing that you see in this video is financially advised so always make sure to do your own independent research remember guys Pause the video, click the link in my description and join the Telegram group because that's where you'll be able to stay up to date with all our recent updates, news updates, technical updates and much, much more. And of course, if you want access to our 100x gems, uh, under the radar gems, our leveraged positions and much, much more, click the link in my description and join Crypto Crew Premium today. Honestly, guys, it's a no brainer. We take you from where you are and we will be scaling our members to six figures minimum by March you literally have nothing to lose. Click the link in my description and join us today. Now, what is Loop Ring, right? So firstly, Loop Ring is an ERC-20 token that describes itself as an open source audit and non-custodial exchange protocol. It aims to allow anyone to build a non-custodial order book based, ex order book based exchanges on Ethereum by leveraging zero knowledge proof. Now, that may have went over your head completely right so let me just go on to the twitter page as well um and i would suggest you all uh read this they've got some you know really cool stuff coming out they're introducing layer two counterfactual wallet and fiat on ramps uh, give this definitely give this a read if you are interested in the loop ring you know journey etc and you, you really you're really in depth with this project and for those of you that want a more visual representation of let me just scroll down of how the entire loop ring e ecosystem fits together. I suggest you have a look at this as well, because this is pretty cool. I'll just zoom that out for you. Pause, have a look or go on the Twitter page and have a look for yourself. But mainly in this video, we're talking about the lessons that we can learn. Right. So let's go to loop ring the chart. So here is the chart, guys. We bought bill around 20 sense right so just to put things into perspective the current price of loop ring now is two dollars right two dollars per coin we bought just under or around 20 cents area um this max supply sorry the market cap currently is 2.5 billion uh the circulate the total supply is 1.3 billion the circulating supply is 1.2 billion um and if we scroll down, it's all time high was $3.75. And that was in November last year, two months ago, actually. And it's all time low was about two years ago. And as you guys can see, it's up over 10,000% since that all time low. So this is done phenomenally well in the middle, during the middle of uh, December, sorry, during the middle of 2021. Now, firstly, let's talk about why uh, why I bought this project. So the reason why I bought this project is because on our team, we do have, uh, you know, gem finders. So people that do their research and, and look at token metrics of certain projects, the fundamentals, the technicals, and we come to conclusions based on the value of a project. Um, we look at opportunity costs. Uh, we look at the potential of the project long term. We look, there's so much that we look into. Uh, Loop Ring at the time ticked all boxes and it was undervalued, right? So in 20, 2017, it had a massive rally up to $2.86. So you've proven already that it can go to these highs, which was good for us. Now, remember, we're looking at this at its lowest point, right? So where it's low, where it's super low. So in our mind, we're like, okay, even if it hits, you know, all the way back up to all time highs, it will be over a thousand percent. Now, bear in mind, guys, this is now in the middle of the year. So this is around uh, August last year. And we're saying to ourselves, well, you know, prices failed to rally in Feb. 
we're seeing price pull back hopefully we see the rally now now in our mind as well we bought because of the the overall potential but then we sold right and i believe that the, the percentage gained wasn't even that much maybe like a hundred percent or so maybe even less than that hundred percent because we saw a better opportunity opportunity cost elsewhere um so we literally transferred literally all our loot bring and uh re reallocated it in another project now why was this a mistake in our in our um in our case the reason why it was a mistake is because we didn't give this project enough time to prove itself right and, and that's what many people will actually struggle with sometimes you look at a project and you say to yourself oh you know what it's been how many months it's not moving let me just let me just pull out and reallocate this elsewhere it's a mistake half the time right and it's a mistake because you never see the real value of that project, especially when it's a good project, especially when you've done your research, etc. You know, it, as you can, guys can see, it's a costly mistake, right? Um, and the other project that we reallocated in didn't do half as well as uh, Lootbring did by the end of the year, right? At its all-time highs, guys, from where it is now to its all-time highs was 1,300%. That's absolutely fin nominal right but again guys we don't cry over spoiled milk and you're probably wondering okay but where does the 100x come from guys we believe that this project will continue to do well uh you know over the, this year we believe it's going to be another good year for loot ring for the, so for those of you that are holding yes this is a you know in my opinion is a good project uh, to hold on to um you know, now the question you're probably wondering is, well, am I going to get back in? Unfortunately, no, I'm not going to chase the market. Um, when we did actually buy this project, it wasn't like, um, you know, for us, it wasn't like, you know, this is a product that we must hold on to, etc., which is why we actually sold it. Right. Um, so, no, this wasn't one of our stable coins in our portfolio in terms of, you know, a project that we would plan to hold for the next two to five years etc so that's why we let this go early but honestly guys if you do believe in this project this is this would be one to hold on to i believe it's going to do really really well uh, but we will not be chasing the market in this case but what is the conclusion here and what can we learn from this what we can learn is number one always do your research on the project project right and we tick that box but number two stick to the plan right if you plan to hold a project for a certain amount of months or, or year or years even, try to stick to it, especially if the financial goals haven't been met, right? Because our goal was to hold, you know, at least till the end of the year. But unfortunately, if price was moving slow and we thought, you know what, this capital isn't doing well here. There's no percentage growth. It's, it's basically the opportunity cost is just killing us right so we pulled it out but big mistake we at least should have let price play out and meet the all-time high objective or if that's not the case we should have let price um you know hit that that uh that uh milestone that we had in terms of the time frame right um so that's the conclusion always let your trades play out right and that's the biggest way to succeed in the cryptocurrency space time is really what makes you the fortune in the cryptocurrency space and it's proven that time and time again with bitcoin ethereum you know many other many other products even projects that you think aren't going to do well end up doing the best for example i know someone that put in 2017 1 million in big in dogecoin right and he unfortunately Do dogecoin did dump on him crashed he sold at a tremendous loss you know I believe you know wiped him out by nearly i believe he took profit around 30k or 20k from a million to yeah so it was terrible but if he had held and just let it play out that would have turned into over over well over 50 million maybe 50 million um you know a crazy amount but the point is do your research let the trade play out um and yeah just let 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 project run its course especially when it's actually a good project right if it's a good project guys just hold on tight 
because time is your best friend in the cryptocurrency space. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. If you do wanna see more Loot Bring videos, actually, um, hopefully price pulls back and I, I can maybe get in a bit entry again, but we'll have to see. Uh, but if you wanna see more Loot Bring videos, comment below or let me know below a project that you sold too early, right? Because we've all been there. Let me know in the comment section. But until the next one, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, when others are fearful, be greedy. When others are greedy, be fearful. With that being said, seize the day.